To put it in short, it was a pretty amazing experience. Hi everyone, I'm back with my video. I'm super late, I know, but as promised, this is about my Twilio internship experience. I already talked about my interview experience. If you haven't checked out that video, the link is in the description, go check it out. Coming to my internship, um, I interned from start of June to end of July, and um, the laptops were sent from the company which we could work on. Uh, those had most of the uh, software installed. I still had to install some of the developer specific stuff, but most of it was already there. So on day one, we had our onboarding where we could set up our laptop and get introduced to our mentors, to our uh, buddies. So a buddy is basically a senior developer and um, you can approach your buddy for any kind of uh, help or any kind of mentoring. So he's basically a mentor for us. So uh, after, I, after the onboarding was done, I got introduced to the meeting schedule. So the way my meetings worked were uh, every day at around 10.30 a.m. I would have my daily stand-up. For those of you who don't know what that is, a daily stand-up is basically just what you did the previous day, what you did, uh, what you plan on doing for that day. And if you have any blockers, you can bring those up in that meeting. Once that was done, I would uh, very often catch up with my mentor. So this was uh, the meeting schedule for uh, Monday to Thursday. One really cool thing at Twilio is that Friday is a no meeting day. So uh, you could schedule meetings of your own, but uh, the bigger meetings, the team meetings, those aren't done on Fridays so that um, we can focus on our, on our work. Another meeting that I would have is on Monday evenings. It was only held once every two weeks. And uh, the way that worked was we would plan our work for the next two weeks and uh, reflect upon what went wrong and what went right in the previous two weeks. And it was in the evening because uh, there were some people in the team which, who were not in India. So to match the time, it was uh, on Monday evenings, but only once every two weeks. So uh, that was fine as well. Coming to my actual work, um, although I can't share too much of it, but uh, there was an onboarding plan that was set up for me. So uh, that was done by my manager and uh, he was a super cool manager. He had a very good plan uh, laid out for me, which was week by week uh, what I had to work on. Um, I like to think that I actually uh, did things faster than that plan, but uh, it was more or less pretty accurate and I was able to achieve all of the stuff that was in that plan. Um, I actually joined the team at a time when they were trying to push things to production and uh, launch them for a pilot test. So uh, that meant that everyone was busy, but the good thing for me was uh, I had some amount of experience working on larger projects from my previous internships. So uh, I could catch on to the code pretty quickly and start making contributions. So uh, there's, there's this tracking thing, issue tracking thing called Jira. And uh, your tasks are like tickets on the Jira platform. And there were tickets assigned to me as well. I was able to solve uh, some of those tickets which were assigned to me. Um, what I worked on was uh, all Java and um, there were two specific frameworks that I worked with. There's um, one which allows you to build web-based frontends in Java, which is the Vaden framework. Uh, the other one that I worked with is, uh, it's called Drop Wizard, which is for uh, backend API development. So I got to work on both of these. And um, I also got a lot of experience working with deployment tools. So I, ha I had to, test out my code on the development server, not just my local machine. So I got to do that. And um, I also had to set up these pipelines for, um, for pushing my code to stage. And uh, it did later got pushed to production. Although I'm not the one that did it because uh, obviously I didn't have the permissions. So uh, 
but till stage i could set up the pipeline and um, the way it worked was once my pr got accepted there were these pipelines that i could set up which would run a lot of tests on my code and then if it passed all of those tests uh, it got pushed to stage that's basically how it worked and uh, throughout my inter entire internship my mentor was super helpful um, one of the things that i actually noticed was that uh, the way they maintain the code quality in these companies is pretty awesome so uh, initially I, I i got my prs rejected because i was uh, using too many new lines between two blocks of code or uh, just using some things the way they didn't want it and uh, very soon i was given uh, these files which i had to put somewhere in my text uh, in my ide um, what these files did were uh, they didn't let me compile my code at all if um, if I didn't meet the code quality. So basically, if I if I had um, unused imports, it would say no, you've got unused imports. I'm not compiling this code. Or if you uh, if you have comments in a specific way which is not uh, really preferred, then again it says you've got these kind of co comments. Remove those. I'm not compiling otherwise things like that so that was uh, pretty awesome and uh, i was really curious about how they maintain code quality in uh, such a huge organization with so, so much of code so uh, that's that was my experience with uh, writing code making uh, comments on github and uh, opening those prs running those pipelines deployment everything so it was um, it was a pretty pretty awesome experience, and um, I, although um, because of uh, because my team was busy trying to uh, push things to production and get that pilot test ready, uh, I didn't really get a chance to interact with all of them individually. But on my last day, uh, we had this send off meeting for me, and um, that was pretty awesome too. Um, one thing I, I, I didn't really like about this was that I had to do it all remotely because of the COVID situation. Uh, I didn't have the chance to go to office. In fact, everyone was just working from their homes. So uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, joining everyone in Bangalore coming July. So, uh, Okay, I uh, I didn't mention this, but I have a pre-placement offer from Twilio and I've accepted that. So I'm going to be joining Twilio uh, coming July. Hopefully I'll get to go to Bangalore, meet everyone at the offices, have a lot of fun, learn a lot and contribute to the code like I did during my internship. Hope this video helped you understand what the internship experience was like. Really sorry that I could not share more details about my work itself. I can, however, say that there were colleagues of mine, uh, co-interns basically, who were working with different tech stacks. They were working on Python. There was uh, one of them was working on machine learning. One of them was uh, doing some uh, Flask and Django in Python using uh, Postgres SQL for, uh, for the database. So there's all of these tech, tech stacks at Twilio. And of course, we are encouraged to uh, introduce new ones as well, but these are the established ones. Um, it's, it's just easier if you follow uh, this tech stack, like any one of these. Another thing that um, I did from my internship was uh, I read this book from uh, Jeff Lawson, who is the CEO of Twilio. And the book is called Ask Your Developer. If you haven't heard about it or haven't read it i would definitely encourage you to go read it i'll put the link in the description do give it a read uh, it is one of the books that i really absolutely loved it presents a lot of ideas and um, i couldn't help but agree with those ideas as a software developer if you're a software developer definitely go read it even if you're not the amount of software that's present in today's world is um, it's a lot. So software has become uh, pervasive these days. 
So uh, it would be a pretty cool experience, even if you're not a software developer, if you go give that book a read, definitely do that. And I'll see you next time. Hope this video helped. If it did, you know the drill, like, share and subscribe. See you next time.